Hello Manchester Friends of Israel, my name's Kasim Hafiz, um, commonly known as the Muslim Zionist, I guess. Um, if you're not familiar with my story, I used to be an anti-Israel, anti-Semitic activist. I was the one shouting, you know, death to Israel and uh, pro-Hamas and, and all those awful things. I was an anti-Semite um, and my activism, I guess, came to such an extreme that I was preparing to leave the UK for a jihadist training camp in Pakistan. Uh, fortunately, that didn't happen, or oh, oh, this could be awkward, right? Um, I read The Case for Israel by Alan Dershowitz. That, you know, one thing led to another. Eventually, I visited Israel, and I fell in love with the place. Um, today, I'm proud to call myself a Zionist, and, you know, I'm happy to stand by Israel no matter what. Um, so I'm just recording this short message for you guys. Um, to say thank you, I guess. Thank you for all you guys are doing because, you know, I've seen the protests in the UK. I've seen what's happening in Manchester with this attempted boycott. And I'm so proud and so kind of emboldened to see you guys standing up because if I can tell you anything, it's from my time as an anti-Semite and an anti-Israel activist was when the truth isn't on your side, when morality isn't on your side, you result to bullying and intimidation. And that's exactly what they're doing. And, you know, they've tried this, they've tried to bully a British business, which is selling Israeli goods. They've tried to bully them, they've tried to intimidate them. And you guys said, no, this isn't on. And that is such an incredible thing to do. And I'm so incredibly grateful, just as somebody who stands by Israel, because this isn't just about a, a small shop in Manchester. This is about an attack on Israel, the world's only Jewish state. It's an attack on Jewish identity. It's an attack on Jewish sovereignty. It's an attack on a democratic state. It's an attack on a state which represents the values that we hold dear in the West. It's, a, it's an attack on basically this light in a very dark region. And it's incredible that you've stood up to this and all I can say is if I was in the UK I would be right there with you I really would because you know I've seen the video footage I've seen like what you're writing on forums and I know it's tough and I know it can be disheartening sometimes but remember to speak the truth is an amazing thing okay I, I look I'm not I don't want to talk too much about myself right now and keep this short look I lost my family I lost my friends I even lost where I was living. I lost all these things because I decided to stand up for Israel. Do I regret it? Not a single second of it. Because it was the right thing to do. Because when I look back in 10, 15, 20 years, when we will win because right and morality and good is on our side, I want to know that I stood up for what was right. I want to know that I didn't hide, I didn't close the door, I didn't keep my mouth shut. So we all have that responsibility because no matter what you believe, whether you're Jewish, whether you're not, whether you're religious or not, I believe at some point in your life you will be accountable for what you did. And I don't want any one of you guys to look back when your kids or your grandkids ask you, do you remember in 2014 when all this was happening and people were anti-Semitic and chanting Hamas in the streets of Manchester? I want you to look back at them and go, do you know what? I stood up. I did what was right. Because if you don't stand up today, when your kids are afraid to wear kippahs or where synagogues are afraid to open or people didn't wear a pin with the Israeli flag on we'll have no one to blame but ourselves so don't ever be ashamed of what you're doing don't ever be apologetic about what you're doing be proud be proud say I'm a Zionist and I'm proud by being a Zionist I stand up for freedom I stand up for liberation I stand up for the right for, for an indigenous people to come home and at the same time, I'm fighting for that nation to have the right to defend itself. It's ridiculous that we have to argue that Israel has a right to defend itself. It's ridiculous, but that's the world we live in. So get out there, Saturday and Sunday. Please, I implore you, get out there. Make your voices heard. Bring a friend. Big three friends, you know. <laughs> Just bring people. Wave your Israeli flag proudly in the streets of Manchester and declare... I'm Israel Chai. We are not afraid. You won't bully us. And we're not going anywhere. Because you should be proud of what you're doing. And to the organizers, to everybody involved, 
my sincerest thank yous. I'm so proud of you. And the next time in the UK, my first stop's Manchester. Can't wait to see you guys. Take care. Amit Rakhai.